Hello students, welcome again Gurukul Online Learning Network, me Abed Ali Khan. So this will be my second class on similarity triangles as it is a long class in similarity. So I am writing here similarity of triangles too, so that you can understand that uh, my second lecture on similar triangles. Okay? So here is another problem I have uh, drawn for you. So PQ, PRS is a bigger triangle and PQT is a smaller triangle, okay? And here the corresponding sides are given. If I write here PR, then you see that PR, the given value is M, what we have to find it out, okay? And Q2, QR is given here, PT is given, TS is given all. So what we know that if two triangles are similar, so if these two lines are parallel, I can easily understand that, what I have shown you before, okay? In my last lecture, in similar triangles, you can come to know about it, okay? So now you see that if I choose the sides like before, that angle Q, if I consider these and these two angles are equal, so angle Q, the opposite side is PT. So I am not drawing every time two triangles separately. To make you understand, I have drawn once. So now you can easily understand that if I consider Q, the side is here 5. I am also not run, uh, writing the letter of sides, okay? It's a bit lengthy of time, that's why. So now you are smart enough to understand, I hope so. So angle Q, if I consider, the opposite side is 5, and angle Q is equal to angle R, due to corresponding angle we know. So the bigger sides is PS, that is 8. So I am writing it directly, okay? And now if we consider about this triangle, angle T is equal to angle X. Angle T is equal to angle X. So angle T, the opposite side is what? PQ. So for this one, I have to write the letter. Why I am writing this letter, I will show you. Because there is no number, it's written here. I need to find it out. So to make you understand, angle T opposite side is PQ. And yeah, angle T is equal to angle S. So its opposite side will be PR. That is given M. The PR is given M. Okay, I am writing it directly to M. And the third side, as I said, that if two triangles, two corresponding sides are equal, then the third side of the triangles must be equal. Third angle, sorry, not the sides third angle must be equal. So there are the two angles and this is the third angle of this respective diagram. So the third angle opposite side is QT, the value is given here 3 and the opposite side is Z. So I am writing here Z, okay. So I haven't uh, written in details this time to make you understand. So instead of you see that 5 and 3Z if I write here, it will be easier for me to solve, okay. So just do the cross multiplication. So 5z is equal to 24. Then z equals to 8 3s are 24 and 5z. So it's coming like 24 by 5. So you are getting an answer. Might be in the fraction form, in decimal form. You, you can uh, give the answer as you want, as the examiner wants the answer from you. Okay. And when you come to know about it's to uh, 24 by 5. Now I'm writing here. You see another one to find PQ. 5 by 8 is equal to PQ. PQ, the value will be, the total length is M. Up to this part is 2. So what will be the value of PQ? So from the total length, I will do this minus. So I am writing here PQ, M minus 2, okay? PQ, the value will be M minus 2 because total is M. So if I remove this side, so to, from the total length, I will remove this side QR, that will be M minus 2. And what is the value of m? I am m, I am keeping it here. So same way if I do the cross multiply, I am getting 5m and here it's coming 8m minus 16. I am doing it uh, directly, okay? So here you see, I can write here 16 and if you consider this one 8m minus 5m, it's coming here 3m. So m will be equal to 16 by 3. So that will be your answer. And z, you write in, uh, you keep your answer in uh, fraction form, no problem, 24 by 5. Just to make you understand the concept, I am writing this. So here I found the letter M and Z. So for Z, it's coming 24 by 5, and for M, it's coming 16 by 3. So same way, in similar triangles, I have uh, shown you uh, two or three problems, okay? So this is the another kind of problem I have shown you. And similarity, there is the another thing we have to understand is about the congruency. So what is congruency? So it's better to make you understand in this class about congruency. 
So that will be easier for you. And the sign of the concurrency also will be, you know what, uh, different. That's what I'm, show I'm showing you. In similar triangles, you see, it doesn't matter about the size. If I draw the two triangles, you see, just uh, concentrate here. If I draw the two triangles regarding the same diagram, so their size is not same here, but they are corresponding, their ratios are proportionally equal, so that's why I can say that they are similar. So this is the PQT, is a smaller triangle, and you see the another triangle is the bigger one, PRS. That's how we are working for uh, congruency, huh? but uh, in similarity. In similarity, their corresponding sides are proportionally equal, and their size, it's uh, not matter at all, okay? But if it comes about the congruency, then you have to understand it. There is a fact about the size, and there are some reasons that when we can say that this triangle is congruent to this, their length, their size, their si areas also can, uh, could be equal, okay? So here, uh, the area, uh, if the smaller uh, triangle area and the bigger triangle area, uh, that's another formula I will show you in my... Uh, maybe in this class later on, but you first understand about the congruency. So if I write about the congruency, suppose these two triangle PQ2, uh, PQT and PRS, triangle PQT is congruent to triangle PRS. When? When we can say it? That's the main part of the question. So you see that there are some conditions you have to remember. That if three angles, if it will be equal, that what I'm indicating as A, A, A. Three angles, if it's equal from the two different triangles, then they are congruent to one another. Or else, angle, angle, side. If these two angles and one side will be equal, then they, uh, we can say that they are congruent. Or else, RHS, right angle hypotenuse side, if it comes, then we can say, and... Uh, Another one is that if three sides are equal, side, side, sides, then also we can say that these two triangles are congruent. These are the actual reason to understand you about the congruency. And this is the sign for congruent triangle. And for similarity, I've shown you that this one will be for congruent. And for similarity, I've shown you the sign will be like this. Two equal and one S. But this sign is for similarity. For similar triangles, okay? And this for the congruent triangles. And the last one uh, could be like one angle and two sides. So if I, I can show you only one problem regarding the congruency, though it's very easy about the congruent matter. So what we are gonna is that we will find this re, uh, logic in two triangles, okay? If the logic will comes up with this, then I can say that two triangles are congruent. So let me erase these things, no problem. I'm showing you the most, much easier one. Suppose if I consider a triangle, an isosceles triangle, you know that in my previous lecture, I've shown you about the isosceles triangle, about the equilateral triangle, others. So it's, it will come one by one. So you see that if I consider a triangle, suppose L, M, N. And if it's given that L, M equals to L, N, because this is an isosceles triangle, and the point X and point Y is on LM and LN, okay? And there are two triangles, LXN. So here I write here, triangle LXN is congruent. You see, I'm using here congruent sign, okay? Congruent sign to equal to LYM, triangle LYM, okay? So... There are two triangles, I have to show that they are congruent. So how I can say that these two triangles are congruent? That also will be easier for you. How can I say that these two triangles are congruent? If any of the logic I can prove, only then. So let's we consider about it. As it's given LM is equal to LN, as it is isosceles triangle, as it is isosceles triangle is given, LM equals to LN, and the point X and Y, it's given in such a way that LX also is equal to LY. So now you see that I can write here in triangle LXN, which one I have to 
prove that these two triangles are congruent. So in triangle LXN, this is the triangle LXN and triangle LYN, LYM. Okay, that's what we have to prove here, isn't it? So in triangle LXN and triangle L M L Y M, what I will see is that as it is an isos isosceles triangle, so I can say L M is equal to L N. It's given. L M equals to L N. And the reason I have written here, it's given because it's given from the question. Okay. And here it is given L M equals to L N and L X equals to L Y because they have also given the points in such a way that it also has given to the questions. These two things will given L M equals to L N because I still triangle and L X equals to L Y from the question it was given that they were equal. So I can write it uh, directly. Okay. And the third side, what is that angle will be? So the third uh, side will be L M equals to L N, L X equals to L Y. And what I can say is that this angle is a common for both triangle if you see very carefully okay this angle is common for both triangle okay so I can write here now angle XLN in LXN triangle and angle MLY MLY and the reason I'm writing here common angle common angle you see l is present in both angle okay so if i consider the both triangles so l is a common angle so i am writing here common angle so what i am getting here side side angle so it comes with uh, which logic you see side side angle two sides and one angle side side angle it means that it's coming up with this logic so i can say that these two triangles are then therefore you can write here, no problem. Uh, therefore, let me write it for you. That triangle LXN is congruent to triangle LYM. Okay, so it's proved. And the reason is angle side side. So two sides here it's coming. You see, side side and angle. So this proved the logic. So here I can say that these two triangles are congruent. So I hope you understand about the today's lecture about the similarity and the congruency. Though the congruency was very much easier for you to understand. That's why I've shown you one problem. And if you can uh, uh, show the logics from these uh, uh, reasons, then you can say that these two triangles are also congruent and similarity. Thank you very much for today's class. Once again, enjoy mathematics, enjoy geometry. And if you face any sort of problem, please contact us on online Guru Gurukul Online Learning Network in our comment box, we're going to help you out from your problem. Okay, thank you very much. See you again.